This is Deluxe Kairos, my pay to play account where I buy every decent progression offer in the shop. My goal is to max out the account as fast as possible and see how much that costs me. Today I'm at day 155 and I have spent a wonderful total of $1,500 plus $7.72. I know that was weird math, but I said it wrong the first time <laughs> and I can't record it because I already tapped on the stuff. <laughs> Today we got something very special going on. We have Shotgun Girl Shelly, a free skin for 30 million pre registrations for Squad Busters. It could be the coolest shot. Shelly skin in the game. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. It really could be. It's an amazing skin. Like, are you kidding me? Plus, you get these cool pins and stuff like that. They just give us to like everybody for free for downloading Squad Busters. That's insane. Oh, I do have this cool skin though. That's actually really cool with the green and the purple stuff too. Um, but yeah, random skin. I'm gonna throw Squad Bus. In fact, I, I like Squad Buster Shelly more. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, do. Dahlia and Squad Buster Shelly, and it'll mix between the two of them. We got a mythic uh, monster egg. Oh, it's a legendary monster egg. Okay, I mean, it's just gonna be cosmetic or bling, but I will take it. That's a really, that honestly, I think that might be my favorite color of them all. That's it's really cool. Plus, this is all I have for Brock. Um, That's way better. In fact, I'm just gonna select it because it's just way cooler. <laughs> Day 156, we've got a legendary monster egg. So it's gonna be cosmetic, Um, but hopefully, whoa, oh, it's, it's shiny. How close can we get it? Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's that's actually sick. There's so few chances to get a free or a free hypercharged skin in the game. There's really only that. So uh that's that's really cool. We also opened up some uh star drops. Oh, defeat reward. You had to see that. Mm -hmm. The rest are victory rewards, I swear. Oh, Pam has unlimited ammo. Cool. Piper, Gunbrella shoots twice. Cool. Today is day 160, and we got some exciting happening. Level up offer in the shop. So exciting. I got dressed up and put my my tie on for it. I love me some good coin offers. Um, actually, uh, what's uh, what's going on today is that we have some monster eggs. Today's the last day of the Mon the Godzilla event, but we also have this offer right here. This is 10% extra on gems, and typically what I have told you in the past is to go to store.supercell.com to purchase your gems from there because you can always get this offer there. However, they have actually removed the 10% additional gems from store.supercell.com, and they've replaced it with something that's not quite as good, which is unfortunate, but that just means that when offers like this pop up, you have to take advantage of them. So the first thing you want to do is you want to scroll all the way over to the right, go to Content Creator Boost, type in code K-A-I-R-O-S so that you will actually support whichever creator you choose, even if it's not me. And then we're going to purchase this. We were only at 768 gems, so, you know, got to restock. And with that, we are up to $1,607.71 spent total on this account. Now we're going to open up these monster eggs, but first I'm going to do my dailies and uh, then we can see how many mutations I had on my pay to play account compared to my free to play account. Okay. That was very scary. I just opened up a monster egg and it gave me 20 credits. I am ridiculously close to unlocking Mr. P <laughs> 30 credits away. Like any star drop could make it happen. And I'm actually kind of nervous that I'm going to miss the recording. Uh, I'm wanting to save my credits for the newest brawler Draco, but I just don't know that I'm going to be able to hold out that long. What I don't want to have happen is for me to accidentally unlock him when I'm not recording. <laughs> Surprisingly, I had the same exact issue on my free to play account today, which is kind of weird. I'm going to do a little bit of an impulse buy here. Okay. I've got some quests um, and Stu is one of them and it's on hot zone and this hot zone one has uh, mutations going on and Stu is much better with his star power um, gaso heal especially with this mutation um, it's probably what I would go with anyway so I'm just gonna buy it <laughs> I'm at the point now where this is what I'm spending my coins on anyway so it's really not that big of a deal and uh, this will make this one quest a little bit easier <laughs> oh just finished my dailies and I got a legendary star drop just barely popped up <laughs> okay hoping for a star power or a fat stack of coins because I have every hypercharge so I can't get a hypercharge the replacement for that would be 1,000 coins so star powers or a hypercharge replacement for 1,000 coins. That's, I mean, that's really great. That just paid for, like, a gadget somewhere. Well, something happened um, that I was <laughs> literally just very worried about. Just told you about it. I unlocked Mr. P. <laughs> I thought I hit this is re start recording, but I apparently had the recording paused. So I unlocked Mr. P even though I was ready to record. And uh, there was no way that I could go about it. I also opened up the six uh, monster eggs. And the thing is, so now I have zero monster eggs to open. And the thing is, is that once you have all the mutations, the fallback reward for mutation are credits. And I have every single mutation unlocked, except for Janet's. And I don't have Janet unlocked. So I just got a bunch of credits and unlocked Mr. P while I thought I was recording. I had a great conversation to nobody because 
I wasn't recording. Also, it's really interesting here, okay? Because the only set of monster eggs that I purchased was just the very first one. But that first set gave me a huge advantage. It gave me a head start because it gave me some good, uh, I keep on wanting to say hypercharges. It gave me some good mutations to give me a higher win rate than on my free to play account where I actually really struggle to get mutations early on. And if you take a look at this, okay, I got 85 monster eggs on my pay to play account compared to cheap Kairos, my free to play account got 72. So if we take that 85, we minus the six that I purchased, that's 79 monster eggs. That's actually not too different from my free to play account. Um, 72, that's only seven more monster eggs, but I didn't get nearly all of the mutations. I only got 27 of them on my free to play account. So I guess the luck factor was on my pay to play, except this is actually a good thing because that means that I got more resources on my free to play account. I will say though that this event was way more fun on a pay to play account. All of my brown brawlers are power 11, which means that it doesn't matter which um, mode or whatever quest it was going on. Like it doesn't matter if they had a mutation, then I had the mutation for it and they were maxed out. So it was way less difficult to complete quests, even on these maps where you have like hot zone and duels right here that have uh, the mutation activated. So anyways, if you guys are curious of my thoughts, then there you go on mutations and how very different my experience was between the two accounts. Day 163, we've got a mythic star drop here. Okay, I was hoping, my, I thought maybe it would be legendary, but it wasn't. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> I realized that I never even upgraded Mr. P, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade him as high as I can. I don't have a ton of power points. Really? Power eight. <laughs> okay. I can get some power points here. So let's go ahead and grab some right here. I don't know if it's going to be enough for me to even upgrade him a little bit more, but let's, uh, let's see here. This is, uh, this is a decent amount of like experience. Yeah. I haven't checked that in a while. Okay. Yeah. We can get him one more level. <laughs> it's still not very high though. Today is day 175. I said that right. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff going on. I've been gone for a week releasing squad busters in Finland. Wow, that was weird. But a couple of things happened while I was gone. First of all, we got a Mega Pig. That was kind of exciting. I did get one notable reward from it. That was a legendary star drop with 500 credits in it. Also, I got number one contributor in my club's Mega Pig. So that was kind of cool. Got some extra star drops from there. I also spent $5 on 3,200 coins, bringing my total spent up to $1,612.70. And on another day, I opened up a mythic star drop containing Unicorn Bonnie, which I like a lot more than Football Bonnie. I also Open up a few mythic startups. I recorded like seven of me opening up 200 uh, PowerPoints. That was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. But today we have a special offer here. $100 spent for 2,200 gems. That is 10% extra. And with that, we have another 2,200 gems and $1,712.69 spent. Now I have a fast stack of gems and my account is looking really good. I don't know if I'm ever going to buy gems on this account again. We'll have to see. We're going to be spending pretty much all of my gems on coins to be able to purchase gadgets, gears, and star powers because that really is going to be the, the limiting factor here. I'm only missing four brawlers, including Draco, who's not even technically out yet, even though he is, which brings up a good point. This Draco, Draco, Draco pack, um, I'm not going to be buying it. It doesn't make sense for me to do so. It's a lot of money spent for having early access to a legendary brawler. And all these other rewards here are cosmetics with the exception of 80 gems. And obviously I can just buy gems. Uh, so yeah, this special offer is not worth it. I wish they would just like give me a big fat sack of like, here's $100 worth of coins, but like discounted. That would be cool. Okay, we got a Mythic Star Drop here. Oh, 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 this is a great day to start recording again. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is here. Give me a star power or a skin for Sandy. I almost called him Leon because it's the Leon skin for, well, it's not Leon skin anyway. Oh, I don't have a skin for Sandy, so that's fantastic. When this series ends, I'm excited to just like go through and show all the skins that I have all of my brawlers. Granted, we still have actually quite a ways to go. I think people misunderstand how long it takes to max out all your brawlers. Okay, also today, past Mythic 1, got a legendary drop. Um, I know that that's not super impressive, but I'm happy with it. That's kind of my goal every single season. I just do one thing that I know that I can do every single season, and that's Mythic 1. Guaranteed Legendary Star Drop here. So, uh, looks like we're gonna Willow skin. Scorpion Willow. That's a good skin. It is. I'm gonna equip now. Uh, let's see here. Did I? I didn't have another skin for Willow, so that's fantastic. Today is day 177. We got something kind of exciting going on today. Uh, I'm gonna stop keeping track of these, but we have the jo Jackpot. 300 power points. 
So I will take that. Thank you very much. I used to track it. Keep how many days? It's anywhere between 30 and 35 days between jackpots, it seems like. Actually, it could be like 20 to 35 from what I've noticed. But that's why you have to check every single day. This one was locked by the paid Brawl Pass. I know people are saying that, uh, uh, that it's not fixed yet. I know. Supercell knows. I don't know what they're going to do about it. Sorry, guys. But today is the very last day of the season. I can complete just a few more uh, quests. So let me do that and see how many few bonus rewards we can squeeze out of this account. Oh, okay, we have a Mythic Star drop today. Okay, hoping for a gadget. Okay, last quest of the season finished. Let's see the token drop or the XP drop. Okay, that was not as satisfying as I thought it was. But this is satisfying, right? This is satisfying. All quests completed. I got 64 XP. Is that going to do me any good? It is absolutely not. I'm not even anywhere close. But now we have a ton of star drops to be able to open up. 70, is that right? Yes, yeah, 70 star drops. Okay, uh, let's show you the exciting ones. We will end on the uh, legendary one. Let's open up these ones first really fast. We got 50 toke or credits, some gold, some more credits going towards Otis. Uh, we might unlock Otis. No, we, we probably won't unlock Otis. But yeah, let's just do it. Open up a bunch of star drops. Okay, we're up fast tier 20 and uh, it's only been rares and super rares so far. So, uh, well, I mean, it's just what happens with star drops. <laughs> but at least they are guaranteed to give you some coins and power points every now and then. Oh, credits. I'll take it. Epic. Okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> XP doublers. I have zero use for XP doublers. Let me see how many I have. 16,000 <laughs> XP doublers. Wow, that's so many. Oh, epic though. Okay. Some power points. I'll take it. Man, none. Uh, no mythics, no legendaries in there, but we still have 45 right here. Then we'll end with that legendary. Ooh, some credits going towards Otis. You don't get credits very often from regular star drops. Um, oh, mythic? Okay. Okay. You usually get them as fallback rewards for only already unlocking a brawler. Okay. It's banana spray. What? <laughs> Epic. Ooh, lots of credits going towards Otis. It would be crazy if I unlocked Otis from just credits from star drops. That's, oh, you know what would be even crazier? If I unlocked Otis from a legendary star drop right now, which is possible. Unlikely though. Uh, let's see what it is here. <laughs> okay. I will take it. Penny's cannon deals extra damage and knocks enemies back upon landing. Do I have anything for Penny? It doesn't matter. Either way, that is 2,000 2, coins saved. But no, that is my first star power for her. So that's fantastic. So I have 30 of these left to open up. That's like actually so many star drops. <gasps> Mythic gadget. Uh, okay, I'll take the power points. I actually want power points. Well, actually, I'm, I'm getting to a point where power points are no longer going to be important because I'm so close to unlocking every brawler in the game. Oh, that's... Uh, uh, I was going to say it's a cool looking spray, and it is, but I'm never going to use that. More credits going towards Otis. More credits going towards Otis. Man. Oh, Mythic. Okay, come on. A gadget for Stu. I was just barely playing Stu for a quest, and I was really wishing I had this gadget. Actually, this is the gadget I would get for Stu, so that's actually really huge. I'm excited about that. Okay, two more here. We got a super rare and a rare. Okay. Um, before I open up this legendary, let's double check a couple things. Let me check mastery. I got 200 power points for Dynamite's mastery, 750 coins for Colts, 750 for Stews, 1000 for Max, 1000 for Buzz, 750 for Carl. This is actually a lot of resources. When was the last time I checked these? Oh, 1000 coins for Amber, 750 for B, Ooh, 200 power points for Griff, 1000 coins for Byron. Man, this is actually so many. 1000 coins for Crow, 750 for Poco, 750 for Tick, 750 for Nita, 750 coins for Pan. 1,000 for Gene. 750 for Bo. This is actually so many. This is so many. And it's also the last of them. <laughs> okay, cool. Look at that. <laughs> we just have Draco and three other brawlers to unlock. Okay, now do I have any brawlers that are not power 11? Yes, I do. Okay, let's go ahead and get Eve up. She's now power 11. Uh, let's get Willow up. She is now power 11. And I do not have enough power points to get Mr. P to power 11. Hence why I want power points. Kind of unfortunate that I'm one brawler away from being able to say all of my brawlers are level 11. <laughs> but let's go ahead and open up this legendary star drop here. See what is inside. Hoping for a star power uh, because I have every uh, hypercharge in the game. So, or a Janet skin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I have no power points. I can't even upgrade her. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was literally just looking at the fact that I didn't have her. That's so funny. Look at that. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> How high can I get Janet though? Um, not very high. Can I get her? I can't even get her to set or I can't even get her to eight. Wow. 
That's really funny. You know what, though? We will go ahead and grab a gadget for her just to make things a little bit easier. I'm going to get drop the base for her. Backstage pass is actually really good as well, but uh, I like this one more. Okay, now we are two brawlers away from having every brawler max or power 11, and we have 41,000 coins to spend, so it's just time for us to get some star powers, gadgets, gears on brawlers, and max them out. I already have, like, the competitive options already maxed out, so I can literally do this however I want, and I'm just going to go to my lowest trophy brawlers and upgrade them from there because these are the ones I'm going to get quests for the most frequently. So let's go ahead and start with Mr. P. I'm going to grab his Porter Reinforcements. I like this one. For his gadget, I'm going to go with Revolving Door. Um, and let's go ahead and grab a gear for him and we'll grab a pet power just because we can. Woohoo. Mr. P is not maxed out. <laughs> I can't get his gear, but it's fine. <laughs> Next up, we have Willow. Um, you know what? It's funny. I used to like Spellbound more, but I see people use Dive a lot and it actually works out pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab her Dive gadget. And for her star power, I'm going to go with Obsession. I, I, I don't know how useful this... Uh, I don't love playing Willow either way, but we'll go ahead and grab that. We got her damage gear and we'll go with her shield gear. Yeah. There we go. Willow's maxed out. We got Chester here next. Okay. I'm going to grab Candy Beans. It's a random buff, so that will be interesting. Embrace the randomness. And Bellomania is just so much better than uh, his, uh, his sneak peek star power. This one does so much extra damage. We're going to grab his damage gear and, you know, and, and we'll go with the speed gear. Yeah. Neither health nor shield seem that great for Chester, so speed gear might be useful sometimes. I don't know. That was a weird choice of mine. You guys can judge me in the comment section. Next, we have Barley. Okay, so I have as his extra noxious star power. And for his gadget, I'm going to go with Sticky Syrup Mixer. Just uh, makes him a little bit more defensive. We'll grab his damage gear and his shield gear. That's great for Barley. He's maxed out. Okay, I'm skipping a couple brawlers going directly to Hank because I hate playing Hank. And I wonder if I would hate him a little bit less if I had him his abilities. I'm going to grab Water Balloons. Uh, slows people down for three seconds with his next attack. I like that. Next, we have It's Gonna Blow. 10% uh, movement speed whenever his attack is charged up 80% or more. I will use that for sure. Uh, we're going to go with the health gear 100%. And then we're going to go with the damage gear. And now Hank is maxed out. Good for Hank. He needs it. Next, we got M's. Another brawler that surprisingly isn't very good with her other abilities okay i really like her friend owner gadget i've wished that i've had this every single time i played m so that's fantastic and as much as bad karma seems like the better option and is really fantastic hype is actually kind of broken on m's it actually is so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this and uh, she just can heal so much in ridiculous situations. This is fantastic in like Brawl Ball. We got her damage gear and I'm going to go with her shield gear. I might have should have gone with her gadget charge. It's okay. This is great. Next, we got Buster here. Um, okay, I already have his Kevlar vest star power. This seems to be pretty decent. For his gadget, I'm going to use the one where he pulls people in. Slow-mo replay, pulls them in, deals extra, and that lets him do more damage. Damage gear. <laughs> okay, and his gadget charge gear. That's fantastic. And next we have Lola. Oh, I'm excited for this. Okay. I actually don't, I haven't played Lola very like competitively for a very long time. So I actually don't know which gadget is better. I think I'm going to go with freeze frame, maybe for like heist or something like that. Freeze frames the way we'll use it as a shield. Okay. I'm going with it. As for star powers, I don't know. This one is like obviously pr probably better, but the way that I play Lola, I just put her shadow right on top of me and sealed with a kiss will heal um, so I'm going to buy it and maybe this was a complete mistake. I'm going to test it out here. We'll go ahead and grab reload and damage and let's just, let's double check this here. I'm not actually too stressed about making mistakes because if I make a mistake, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have to have them all anyway. So we're going to put the, the thing down right here. Okay, perfect. So this is going to heal her, keep her alive. She's just going to be ridiculously strong. That'll make Lola feel quite a bit better. Okay, next is Mandy, but I'm going to skip Mandy. I'm going to go to Terra because I like playing Terra more. <laughs> I'm going to grab her healing shade, star power. I absolutely love this one on Terra. We're going to grab pet power because that's how I'm going to be using her. Oh, wait a second. That's the wrong one to use. I should have gone the other way. It doesn't matter. I, I'm still going to be using her gadget and we'll go with damage gear. Fantastic. Terra is maxed out. That is all that I can do. I can buy a gadget for a brawler. Ooh. I'm going to take Gray. I'm going to go ahead and buy his walking cane gadget. And uh, now I have zero monies. And this is the account after 177 days of pay to play. I have every single brawler at power 11 except for two 
brawlers really close there and i'm missing only three brawlers 77 out of actually 80 brawlers once draco is counted that is wild and i am now at the point where it makes more sense for me to just like show you how few brawlers don't have their gadgets star powers and gears like the majority of my brawlers do have their star powers gadgets and gears and every brawler with a hypercharge has a hypercharge it is wild i am at 19,600 trophies which is like honestly really easy with max brawlers it feels a little unfair and at this point i would compare it to my free to play account but the truth is there's just no comparison i mean this is my free to play account right here and you know it looks actually pretty good but keep in mind that this account had a one year head start um, yeah, but on my pay to play account, I have spent $1,712.69. That's an average of just under $10 every single day. <laughs> that is, oh gosh, that's bad. <laughs> Which is why I would like to remind you to go over into the shop and enter in code K-A-I-R-O-S into the Brawl Stars shop. And you can do the same thing in Squad Busters by going into the shop and scrolling all the way over here and doing the exact same. Oh, it even has it pre-typed in there for me. That's fantastic. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next video.